Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna look at the useful example on how to use a PHP interface. Because a lot of people uh, seem to be missing the point of what the interface actually does, so I've decided to create this video. An interface is provided so you can define a set of functions and then hide the actual implementation of those functions in the implementing class. So this allows you to change the implementation. So this allows you to change the implementation of those functions without changing how you use it. So for example, let's create an interface called database. And then let's define three methods or functions. List orders, add order and remove order. So as you can see we have just uh, defined these functions without actually um, creating the implementation of these functions. So there's no code that is um, written for these functions yet. That's what the job of the implementing class is going to be. Now let's go ahead and create the class that will actually implement the database interface. So we can start out by creating a MySQL database class which implements and implements is how we use the interface with the implements keyword implements database. So now we have a MySQL database which implements database class so it also inherits all of these functions and here's where we actually write the code for all these functions so the code for listing orders adding orders and removing orders is going to be inside of these functions I'm not gonna be writing the code here uh, for brevity reasons because we're just learning about how the actual interface works so this is not necessary just understand that the implementing class is going to be um, is going to have the actual body of the function as opposed to just the function definition now from this point all that we need to do is create a new MySQL object by using a new keyword MySQL database and then we can do something like for each database list orders as order so so that's how we would implement the MySQL database class and call the list orders uh, function. Now suppose we wanted to migrate to using an Oracle database instead of a MySQL database. And I made a mistake here, change this to database. So instead of MySQL database, we wanted to use Oracle database. And this is what the interface is actually for. So all we need to do is create a new class and change this to Oracle database. Now we have an Oracle database class which implements all these functions and it implements the interface database. And then all we have to do is just change this to new Oracle database without touching anything else. And that's how easy it is to switch to another class using the interface. So once again, the interface lets us define the functions without implementing them. And um, that's how you would use an interface in your program. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.